a former Nigeria head of state has actually uh, probably mistaken by sending this kind of message to the public. And now everybody is practically talking about this situation. We've heard about the Nigerian students, the nuns talking about this, and also uh, Omoyele Showare, one of the presidential aspirants of the AAC, has also you know, released his own point of view concerning what has been said. It is about the letter of which was written by Obasanjo, of which is making you know, a hell of rounds. And now, Obasanjo laid foundation for shambolic elections. That's what Omoye Lichore have said. He said Obasanjo laid foundation for shambolic elections. Lacks credibility to talk about fraudulent elections. Well, we are talking about fraudulent elections. Obasanjo is nobody to say anything about it because he was the one who laid the foundation for shambolic elections. What is your take to this? Do you also believe that? Obasanjo was the one who laid this foundation. What is your take to this? Do you actually believe Obasanjo created this shambolic elections? All these are uncredible elections? All these fraudulent acts that happens during electoral processes? Do you think everything was laid down by Obasanjo? Well, I would like you to let us know your own take on this that has been said. But before we go, let's go into the full details of the news to see what is actually playing out. According to the news, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress AAC in the 2023 general elections, Omoyele Shuore, has said that former President Olushe Gombasonjo has no credibility to talk about fraudulent elections. Shuore, while reacting to Obasanjo's statement, where he, that is Obasanjo, condemned the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC over the conduct of the Saturday presidential and national assembly elections said that Obasanjo organized most fraudulent election while in office as a president for eight years. Obasanjo had in a statement on Monday berated INEC over the conduct of the elections, pointing out several reported violence and ir irregularities recorded during the elections across the country and called for cancellation of the election in some parts of the country. But reacting to Basanjo's statement, Shore said that the former president laid the foundation for the shambolic election that had been Nigeria's lot. Shore said, Chief Olusegun Basanjo has no credibility to talk about fraudulent elections. Ex-president Obasanjo organized some of the most fraudulent elections during his eight-year tenure as president of Nigeria. He laid the foundation for the shambolic election that has become Nigeria's lot now. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brand development? Everything that happens in Nigeria's election now has happened back then during Obasanjo's tenure because he caused everything. Everything that is happening now was laid down by Obasanjo. Obasanjo laid foundation for shambolic elections. He lacks the credibility to talk about fraudulent elections in Nigeria. That is what Shore have said. You that lacks experience, tell me what do you have to tell people who are just going into what you have been through because when you were into it, you did it, you know, in an incredible way. All elections conducted during the tenure of Obasanjo is nothing to write home about. Now, he's trying to caution people who already have more better view than he does. What is your take to this? What if country do you have to say election results should be cancelled? That's what Shower have said. Obasanjo had in a statement on Monday be rated INEC. Over the conduct of the elections, pointing out several reported violence and irregularities recorded during the elections across the country and called for cancellation of the elections in some parts of the country. What is your own reactions to this? We would like you to let us know your own take on what has been said, but before we go, let's people's reactions on what has been said. Simon Leonard reacted to this and said, how many years ago, with all the technology in the world today, we can correct the foundation? 
Shore, you are wiser than the statement. That is what has been said by Simon Leonard, blaming Omoyele Shore for what he has said, you know, accusing Obasanjo for, you know, laying the foundation of a shambolic election in Nigeria. Simon Leonard said, that was in the past, how many years ago, with all the technology in the world right now, we can actually correct the foundation. The world has advanced than when Obasanjo was Nigeria's president. The world has advanced and there are a lot of technology that can be used to correct the foundation. During Obasanjo's tenure, what do we know as beavers? There's nothing like that. But now we have beavers. That is an advancement. And that is the new technology we are talking about. With the use of technology, the foundation can be corrected. That is what has been said by Simon Leonard. What is your take to that? Do you think if truly Obasanjo has you know, actually done this before, if actually he laid the, uh, you know, the foundation for shambolic elections, do you think what Leonard said could actually be useful you know, using uh, the technology of nowadays? the artificial intelligence to actually correct this foundation of which everybody is talking about it don't forget that some of show is reacting we also have nigerian and you know, those students the nuns who have also reacted to this same you know situation they are all blaming um, you know they are all blaming abasanjo pardon for creating this for you know laying the foundation for shambolic elections and not just that also calling for the cancellation of the election result i think that is what is actually you know making people you know share their dissatisfaction about what has been said allah should be going to they also reacted and said it is an insult for a nation to keep referring to an individual as the cause of our problem when all the opportunities to change it for the better comes intermittently and we keep wasting it We've just heard what has been said by Olai Shibikon Tunde, who has also reacted, blaming others for blaming, you know, one person, which is Obasanjo. Actually, Obasanjo might be wrong, you know, in the statement he issued, but it is an insult for a nation to keep referring to an individual as the cause of our problem, just like what Leonard have said. Obasanjo laid this foundation back in those days, but now we have more advanced technology that can actually correct this foundation. Now, Tunde is saying that it is an insult for a nation to keep referring to an individual as the cause of our problem when all opportunities to change for the better comes intermittently and we keep wasting it. What is your take to this? Different reactions from different people. We would like you also to let us know your own take on this. Don't forget that still on the 2023 general elections, we all are waiting to see what the outcome of the results will look like. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you on other news. Bye for now.